Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com. The horror! The horror! Yes, straight out of Apocalypse Now, the creature has returned. Just when you thought it was safe to, like, go out at night, he's back. Roger Norrington. Oh, retirement means nothing. Death means nothing these days. Not that he's dead, but he's like not supposed to be doing this anymore. But here they are, Martineau, Symphonies 5 and 6, getting the Stuttgart sound treatment. Ugh! Oh my God, how horrible it is. Now these are like, oh, it says file under Norrington. Right there, see that? file under Norrington. Does anyone have a Norrington file? I mean, no, don't file it under Martineau. In fact, don't file it under music. You're in even better shape. These are like live recordings because people clap rather tepidly, I would add, um, from 2003 and 2008 of Martineau Symphonies 5 and 6. What in God's been named does Norrington have to do with that music? Well, uh, the reality is, um, he was not just a, 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 like, period instrument do horrible things by classical and pre-1945 sort of repertoire guy. He wasn't. He was an actual conductor with an actual orchestra who had to do an actual season and play actual repertoire. And evidently, this was some of the actual repertoire he played. And oh, 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 why, why do we have to hear it? I, I'm, I, you know, I was curious, I have to confess, when it came out, because, you know, like all horror movies, you know, they're, they're kind of fun to watch, you know, if there's enough, like, blood and gore, and they're creative and amusing, but this is not, it just isn't, it's terrible. It's terrible in every possible way it can be terrible. And the sad thing about it is that most people probably don't know these works well enough to know just how bad these performances are. But I'm going to try to tell you a little bit. Now, both of these are three movement works. Um, they are late Martineau, and they're marvelous, absolutely marvelous. And they've all been recorded many times fabulously. So we know what they're supposed to sound like, starting with Carl Angerl of the Czech Philharmonic, and then there are all the Czech Philharmonic people who did them, and then there was Munch with the Boston Symphony in number six, and then there are all those other marvelous Martineau cycles, like Bryden Thompson on Chandos, Arthur Fagan on Naxos, Jerzy Bielochlavek on Onyx. I mean, yeah, we know what this is supposed to sound like which is enormously helpful because that tells us just what this is supposed to be doing and is not doing. So what are we? What's wrong with this? I mean, let's just, let's just go through it briefly and then, and then consign it to the oblivion that it richly deserves. Shame on you, SWR. They still think this guy was good. I mean, I understand they spent a fortune on him. I mean, they, they all did. I get it. But anyway. Here we go. First, tempo. Tempo, tempo. Martineau's music is normally in a moderate tempo because he writes in small note values with extremely syncopated rhythms all the time. And so the tempo has to be moderate enough so that all of the detail, the filigree of which his music is just full, the complicated ostinato rhythms and the, 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 the underpinning and the texture can be heard clearly. Well, never mind that. Norrington is almost uniformly too quick. And when he slows down, he slows down in the wrong spots. And it's, it, the result is just a horrifying mess. I mean, the opening movement of the Fifth Symphony, let's take a case in point, is in proportional tempi. It has a slow introduction leading to a, a quick allegro section, a quicker allegro section, but they have to be seamlessly bound. Well, here, the introduction is far too quick, which makes the allegro too slow, and, and the result of that is, is a movement that proceeds in sort of herky-jerky segments, 
and and the orchestra sounds oh so uncomfortable my goodness you know in the fast stuff they're hanging on for dear life in the slower stuff you can practically hear them counting then there is like i said rhythm syncopated rhythm you know, Norrington's approach to rhythm is to take the smallest possible unit and separate it from everything else. Now, the finale of the Fifth Symphony, as a case in point, is is in the same rhythm as as Beethoven's Seventh, the first movement. Yum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum ba ba dum do 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 da 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 like that. Okay, so it, it has to it has to flow. You have to phrase in long arcs to capture the music and the melody. Oh, there's this gorgeous tune. Ya da 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 dum. Ya da da da. Ya da dum. Ba da 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 dum. Ba da dum. Ya da dum. Ba ba dum. Ba ba dum. Ba ba dum. Like that. That's sort of what it's supposed to sound like, actually. I mean, maybe my voice, no, but the, the phrasing. It's a big, long, lyrical line, and it has to be an arch and a giant, huge, melodic, effusive paragraph of lyricism. It should not sound ya da dum da bum ya da dum dum ya da dum ya da dum ya da dum ya da 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 which is what Norrington does. It's just bad absolutely bad so that's the fifth the sixth oh my god it's even worse you know it's it's just he just races through it and there are there are no climaxes in these in these performances he, you know everything is small and tinny and because of the way he has that orchestra playing i mean we are past the point in the norrington verse where vibrato was a regular thing they should all be playing with vibrato. They should all be having a good time sounding like a normal orchestra by the time Martin who wrote these symphonies. They really should, but they don't. I mean, I don't know whether they do or they don't. The, the overall sound is just dry and, and, and tiny, just tiny. I mean, there's that fabulous climax in the finale of the sixth where the whole orchestra goes crazy. It sounds like, it sounds like a nuclear reactor melting down to the extent that sounds like something. You know, it's just a, like that. It's just this amazing thing. I mean, it's all texture and, and but it, it just goes for nothing because he races through it. And, it, you know, it, what's the point? What's the point? I mean, Martineau is not so popular that, you know, his music is, is going to sell millions of copies anyway. Um, and it needs to be presented in the best possible way to make the best possible case for it. And then you've got this jabroni and his pathetic sounding band doing their thing. It's, it's, it's disgusting. Like I said, like they said, file under Norrington. Ugh. I mean, I, I, it, this leads me to believe that there must be more of this stuff sitting around and it could still be coming out, even though he's technically not working anymore. I mean, there's an entire legacy of, of, of nonsense that, that these people can release. Well, let them release it. It's their money. Why do, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't have to be yours. And that's the point. So keep on listening, friends. Avoid this like death. Take care.